the digital editor at Black Enterprise, and today I'm gonna introduce you to Vanessa Braxton. She is the CEO and president of Black Mama Vodka and Black Mama Brands. Yep. So for Black Mama um, Vodka, um, where did you even come up with that name? I just said I'm black, I'm the mom, I made the vodka, that's it. You became the first African-American woman with a nationally distributed vodka in 32 states. Yep, and I'm in Hong Kong, and I'm in UK now. I just opened up an office in UK. Um, I did the UK office because of the simple fact of Amazon. You know, and I'll tell you this, in a market where it's so saturated, mm -hmm. you have to own your own. Th that's the only way that I'm gonna see of getting from point A to point Z with what you want in terms of generational wealth. I started making the vodka with tea leaves. So I didn't have to use any chemicals. And I figured out uh, the chemical structure of how to make the vodka without any chemicals whatsoever. Because bad vodka, vodka liquor's bad enough. But right. Just, <laughs> just, just keeping it right. Chemicals. Right. So I started making the flavors with tea leaves. That's wow. why my vodka, if you'll see, it says superior handcrafted vodka infused with tea leaves. Mm. So when you see an infusion, that means there's no chemicals. You're taking your company public at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's Absolutely. talk about this big move. Yes. Now, all in all, with having all of this, a lot of my customers has been asking, I want to invest, I want to invest with you. Listen, why y'all want to invest after I done put my money up? <laughs> Why people want to come in when stuff is going good? You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody don't want to put, everybody want to wait. So I always say nobody, you know, no, everybody want to sit, but nobody chipped in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So you want to wait. No, right. we're not doing that. Because when I started Black Mama Vodka, it was never the intent to take it public. It was always the intent for the legacy of my children. I want right. something that's going to be here well, a hundred years, well after I'm well gone. We're building 500 stores. So we're gonna, after this is closed, mm -hmm. we're gonna do the actual IPO because that's what the SEC is going to expect because I have the amount of shareholders and the market cap. And that's what I want, because I want us to get there and have a company.